One day, the last star in the universe will die, and when it does, everything you've ever known will vanish. Right now, as you watch this, our sun is burning through 600 million tons of hydrogen every single second. It's been doing this for 4.6 billion years. It will continue for another 5 billion years, but eventually, even our sun will die. And when the last star in the universe finally burns out, something unimaginable will begin. Today, we're going to witness the death of everything. The final chapter of cosmic history, a story so vast that human civilization is just the first page of a book with trillions of chapters. We're about to journey through deep time, deeper than you've ever imagined, to the very end of everything. Let's begin our journey 13.8 billion years ago. The Big Bang has just happened. The universe is hot, dense, and completely dark. No stars, no light, just hydrogen and helium floating in the cosmic void. But then, something magical happens. Gravity pulls this gas together. The first stars ignite. And for the first time in cosmic history, the universe begins to shine. This is the stellar age, the age we live in now. An age where stars are born, live brilliant lives, and die spectacular deaths. Where galaxies spiral through space like cosmic pinwheels, where planets form and life emerges. But here's what most people don't realize. The stellar age is just the beginning. A brief, brilliant flash in the cosmic timeline. Our sun is a middle-aged star. It's already lived half its life. In five billion years, it will expand into a red giant, boiling away Earth's oceans and scorching our planet to a lifeless cinder. Then it will collapse into a white dwarf. A stellar corpse the size of Earth, but with the mass of our sun. But our sun is lucky. It will die peacefully. Massive stars, they die violently. Picture this, a star 20 times more massive than our sun. It burns through its fuel in just 10 million years, a cosmic blink of an eye. When its nuclear fires finally die, gravity wins. The star's core collapses in less than a second, then explodes outward with the force of 10 billion suns. This is a supernova. In a single moment, it outshines an entire galaxy of 100 billion stars. Fast forward one trillion years from now, we're watching the universe transform before our eyes. Most of the massive stars are already gone. They lived fast and died young, some lasting only a few million years before exploding as supernovas. Their deaths scattered heavy elements across the cosmos. Carbon, oxygen, iron, the building blocks of planets and life. But now, even the smaller stars are beginning to fade. Red dwarfs, the smallest, longest-lived stars in the universe, are finally running out of fuel. These stellar light bulbs have been burning for hundreds of billions of years, some for over one trillion years, and one by one, they're going out. Imagine watching the last red dwarf in the Milky Way. It's been burning since before our sun was even born. For one trillion years, it has been a beacon in the darkness, but now its nuclear fires are dying. The star dims, flickers, and then darkness. The stellar age is over. 100 trillion years from now, the universe is a very different place where once there were brilliant stars lighting up spiral galaxies, now there are only stellar corpses, white dwarfs, neutron stars, black holes. The universe has become a graveyard of dead suns, slowly cooling in the infinite dark. This is the degenerate age, an age that will last a thousand times longer than the stellar age ever did. But even in this cosmic graveyard, there's still activity. White dwarfs, the cooling corpses of sun-like stars, still glow faintly in the darkness. But they can only cool down, slowly, very slowly. But occasionally, something dramatic happens. Two white dwarfs, orbiting each other for eons, finally spiral inward. They collide. For a brief moment, nuclear fusion ignites again. A Type 1, a supernova lights up the dead galaxy like a cosmic flashbulb. Then darkness returns. 10 to the 40th power years from now, that's a 1 followed by 40 zeros, a number so large it has no meaning in human terms. By now, even the white dwarfs have cooled to absolute zero. The universe is completely dark, no light anywhere, just cold, dead matter drifting through space. But gravity never stops working. Over these unimaginable timescales, gravity slowly pulls matter together. Dead planets spiral into dead stars, dead stars fall into black holes. Entire galaxies collapse into supermassive black holes. This is the black hole age, when the only remaining activity in the universe comes from these cosmic monsters, slowly devouring everything that falls too close. But even black holes aren't eternal. Stephen Hawking discovered something terrifying. Even black holes die. 
they slowly evaporate over unimaginable timescales. But eventually, even the largest black holes will disappear. 10 to the 100th power years from now, the last black hole in the universe has just evaporated in a final burst of Hawking radiation. What's left? Nothing. Almost nothing. The universe now consists of almost nothing, just a thin soup of particles drifting apart in the endless dark. The temperature of the universe is now just a trillionth of a trillionth of a degree above absolute zero. This is the Dark Age, the final age of the universe. But even now, in this cosmic wasteland, something incredible might happen. In a future so distant that the number of years cannot be written with all the atoms in the observable universe, quantum mechanics offers one last possibility. Quantum fluctuations, random events that happen even in empty space. A quantum fluctuation could create a single atom. Given more time, it could create a planet, a star, even a brain, complete with memories of a life that never existed. The universe could be reborn, not once, but infinite times, each time slightly different each time exploring new possibilities. We live in the universe's golden age. In 100 trillion years, when the last star dies, there will be no one left to remember that stars ever existed. But you're here now. You're witnessing the universe at its most beautiful, and that makes you incredibly lucky.